Hey guys, it's Normat the Gamer here. Got another unboxing for you guys. It's four different things. We got a box here and uh, four packages. So, wow. Let's go ahead and get to this box first. I did not grab my scissors before. I got, I got them now. Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and get to the box. I'll put it right here. So, uh, this might be everything I asked for. Like, I think after this, it's not going to be unboxing for a little while. I know this is the third day in the row I've been doing unboxings because I've been ordering stuff from Amazon. And Amazon's just amazing. That's why I keep ordering stuff. I mean, great prices. I mean, if I were to sell my stuff on there, that's also great. It's kind of like having a second job for my age because, like, if I sell something, I get to choose my price. And I choose the price that, like, is the cheapest um, out of everyone. So, you know, it sells. But it's actually a decent price. Like, you know, the game that I sell or whatever. This thing's well packaged, so... Well, I, I shouldn't say well packaged if it's hard to open. Alright, well, got it open now. Let's go ahead and get it out. And it is... Oh, it's that! Alright, so... It is the so, um, PlayStation 3 Blu-ray Remote. Um, get you guys a closer look at this. Yeah, there it is, the Blu-ray remote. Um, reason why I got this, um, obviously for my PlayStation, is because the set is set. This has a feature to connect with the 3D display, as you guys see right there. Um, and sadly, this thing doesn't come remote. So if I were to change inputs from like you know my PlayStation to Xbox or the TV, I have to get up and do it, and I'm kind of getting tired of that. So I got this. So I can change the display, which I think that's the button I would choose, the display button. Maybe, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out soon. To like, you know, change it without getting up, because that's going to be pretty useful. So, yeah, and then here's the instruction manual. So, hopefully this is the right remote. remote. I know there's a few different kind of remotes. Actually, I think it's just two different PlayStation 3 remotes, and this is just the newest model that does connect with the 3D display, so that definitely works. Um, and let's go ahead and get to the other stuff. Can you still see me? Alright, cool. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get the rubber band off. And we'll go ahead and get to the packages by Okay, we'll do these two packages first because from what I feel, I think they are what I think they are. Actually, I can't tell with this one. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get to this one first. Ah. And this is another anime. It's the same one I uh, first unboxed, kind of. Not the exact same one, but Helsing Ultimate again. Um, get you guys a closer look. Last time I unboxed um, uh, Ultimate Series 1, now I got Ultimate Series 3. The other Ultimate Series are more on the expensive side. Ultimate Series 1 and 3 only got for about 10 bucks. The other ones cost like 30 bucks or 80 bucks because they're so rare and I really like the series. Um, I actually want to say there's 10 of them but they, I don't think they made 10. I think they only made like 5 of these so I don't know but as um, far as I know it's just one episode. But anyway, there's the back part. I almost watched this episode the other day. I was like, whoa, I'm getting it later soon, so I'll be able to rewatch it then. Because, uh, yeah. But, um, yeah, it does have English and Japanese, so that definitely works. I can watch it in English, not strictly in Japanese. So, yeah, Helsing Ultimate's pretty awesome, I would say. There's the disc and the chapters. Hmm. Okay, that works. And what else we got? Oh. There's Alucard being awesome. And then that her name's Ceres, and she's a vampire. That was uh, turned to a vampire by Alucard when she was about to die. But yeah, pretty cool anime, I would say. Go ahead and get that over here. And let's go ahead and open this other one. And 
don't ask why, because some people be like, what the heck, man? I mean, this is a horrible game. Or you just think it's horrible. I actually played the game, beat it on that spot, and I actually enjoyed it and got it at a good price on Amazon. But I got 50 Cent Blood on, uh, on the Sand. I'm um, actually not a fan of 50 Cent, but when I first saw this game, I was like, hmm, I don't know about this game. Bulletproof kind of looks stupid, but I got a chance to play this, and I liked it. It was pretty cool, and this game has trophies for PS3, so, I mean... I won't just be playing mindlessly, not, you know, unlocking nothing. So I think this definitely works. I mean, the game's not that bad. I'll try to get some gameplay footage in there. If you guys like, just let me know in the comments if you guys do want some footage. Probably won't do a playthrough or let's play or whatever, but, you know, just record something out of it. I think this game has online mode. Yeah, it does. Oh, not much. Anyway, as far as features go, I mean, it has multiplayer leaderboards and matchmaking lobbies and voice chat. Um, yeah. And then down here it is one player and it goes up two players online so i'm guessing that's co-op hopefully the co-op servers are still on if i want to play with someone it takes 1.65 gigabytes of hard drive space requires broadband for you know online and then goes up 720p and then yeah it is kind of you could tell it's used right here but anyway it's red and for mature for blood drug reference intense violence strong language and su suggestive themes which is pretty expected i would say but uh, let's go ahead and open it up. There's the disc. And then the manual. Oh, what's on the back here? Red Faction. I got that game. Red Faction Gorilla is awesome. Anyway, yep. Yeah, that's 50 Cent Blood on the Sand. Let's go ahead and get to the next game. Um, put this down real quick. Got angled. Sweet. Um, I got two more. What the crap is this? Oh, I know what it is. Let's go ahead and get it open just because it's non-game related. And it is this thing. I'll show you guys. I'm going to get out of the package in one hand. Um, probably might be able to tell what it is. You got, oh, no, it fell. As you guys can tell, you see a tape. Um, like, you know, old tape. It is a tape, yes, but it connects to like a audio jack, so it, um, well, like of a iPod or a phone. You put this in the tape, like tape thingy, tape, I forgot what you call them, but you put this in your car that may or may not have this thing to fit in there or not, and then, um, yeah, you put that in there, and then you connect this to your iPhone or iPod or MP3 device or whatever, audio device or whatever so it can play surround sound in the car and I, I do not have a car right now at the moment but when I have one I already have you know music I want to listen to and I'll probably get this give this to my mom for right now because I think she will like this but um yeah I think that's pretty cool and we'll go ahead and get to the last package of the day and there may be more unboxings coming just not as big as this one uh, I mean scissors for this one hmm Okay, I probably scratched something in there. Oh, okay, we're good. Oh wow, they take this up real good. This could be worse. Right. Another PS3 game, from what I can see. And what is it? Red and for mature. Oh, it's this game. I don't know why I got this one. I really don't. But I played the demo. I was like, okay, it's decent. I'll get it. <laughs> I played the game and beat it on Xbox before, but I don't know why. I don't know. Anyway, it is Wanted Weapons of Fate. You guys may have heard of Wanted, uh, the movie. Basically, um, first, I mean, when you think of this movie, you're thinking, oh, I'm going to grab a gun and shoot it and curve a bullet because that's what it's about, curving bullets. It's a new little concept that was pretty cool and you, you get to do it in this game and the game wasn't that bad as far as I know from what I remember I should say and I mean watching a trailer and playing the, replaying the demo I mean I'm like yeah I'll just get it anyway and plus this game has trophies I mean that's a big factor with these old PlayStation 3 games that don't have trophies that just kind of kills um, kills the idea to even get it for PS3 and just get it for 360 instead I thought I was getting some 360 games today. I think I ordered two of them, but I did not get them today. So, therefore, there will be another unboxing pretty soon. But, yes, it does have trophies, like I said. Um, there's the back part. Train Assassin Born Killer. 
And uh, yeah, it is one player. It takes 1,921 megabytes, which is a almost 2 gigs, and goes at 720p, and does require a broadband connection for whatever reason that, you know, has nothing to do with online. I would say trophy syncing, but yeah. And then it is rated in for mature for blood and gore, intense violence, and strong language. Let's go ahead and open it up, and we got the manual right here. And I'm guessing this is my little receipt thing. I mean, I say manual, CD, the Blu-ray disc right here. Then we got the manual, which I think looks pretty cool. I mean, it's it's different from the CD. I'm like, ooh, kind of looks premium in a way. I don't know. I like the manual cover. But, uh, yeah, that is Wanted Weapons of Fate. So, we'll go ahead and get all my things that I ordered today right over here. If I could get all of it to be over here. Yeah, that works. So, yep, the Helsing Ultimate Ultimate Series 3 um, DVD, 50 Cent um, Blood on the Sand. For PS3, Wanted Weapons of Fate for the PS3 and the PlayStation 3 Blu-ray remote. So that and the little tape audio thing. <laughs> but other than that, that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to comment your thoughts on any of the stuff I got today. Or if you guys have any questions of any of the stuff I got, rate if you like the beer or not. And subscribe for more unboxings, daily gaming news, and game footage of different games I play. Um, one question you guys may want to know. How can I afford all this stuff? Why do I get all this stuff? Well, I'll just say, oh, how can I afford all this stuff? Amazon, my friends. Amazon is amazing. You could get great deals on this stuff. I mean, okay, for example, this game. How much would this game cost at your local game retailer, GameStop, or whatever? Most likely about, well, actually, no, I don't know. It may be about 10 bucks, because that's how much I got that for. I mean, this game, I fit. Well, let's put it this way. This game on Xbox Live, um, well, what, it, what do you call it? Games on the Man or whatever. This game's still freaking 50, 60 bucks on Xbox Live. Xbox on the Man, whatever crap it's called. I think that's just an error, but just compare this $10 game. Actually, I might pay less than that. Less than $10, $10 to that 50 and you're wasting hard drive space. I mean, come on. I mean, that's an example right there. I mean, and you can't find this anywhere, so... Well, at least as far as I know, I can't find it anywhere retail-wise. So, I mean, you go to the internet, try to find a good price. Amazon's going to be your answer. So, yeah, and I got this for 15 bucks. It's not that far of a difference from, you know, new. But, I mean, I really need this. But, I don't know. I was trying to make a point there. I'm not sure if I really made it. But, basically, I was just trying to say Amazon is the key to, you know, getting great deals. I mean, you may not be an online shopper. Amazon is the reason to become an online shopper because I wasn't one before, but now I am, so definitely all works out. But anyway, that is all. Thanks again for watching. Thanks for the support, and I will chat with you guys later. See ya.